Hi, I'm Wally with Darkroom Software. and We're talking a little bit today about slow motion and the support that Darkroom has for slow motion. You can use slow motion in a couple of different ways. Number one, you can use a GoPro camera. These connect by Wi-Fi, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage, but they work pretty well and transfer pretty fast, so Wi-Fi only for a GoPro. We support the Hero 4, Silver, and Black, and uh, we'll show you a little bit more about setup and how that looks in a few minutes. But we also, you can also get a really good, nice video with uh, most digital SLRs if they do higher than normal frame rates. A normal frame rate on a, a video recording is 30 frames a second. With this Canon and most of the other Canons, you can do 60 frames a second. Some of the mid-range and higher end Nikons do 60 frames a second. And that gives a pretty good uh, results. We'll show you some examples of that in just a minute. Next, you'll have a computer, obviously. This is a touch screen, 24 inch screen that you can uh, use for the booth. We've got it set up with a sample screen, no printer connected, so I don't have anything to show you there. But the uh, lights, I've got one LED panel right here. We also had two more for our samples, so a total of three LED panels like this. So basic components, LED panels, uh, camera, computer, and that does a really good job for slow motion. You can use, like I said, SLR or uh, GoPros. A um, couple of things you want to think about when you're doing these things is you want to keep the video short because a four second video becomes a 40 second video when you slow it down by 10x. So you want to keep the video short. Things with color and motion look really cool. We're going to show you some things with bubbles and confetti and so on like that. So those are all some really cool things. But those are the basic components light, camera, computer, okay?